The Youth Party in Nigeria has lamented the federal government's refusal to hold any official accountable for the importation of 3 million litres of substandard petrol into the country, and saying it's unacceptable. Earlier, the party's National Publicity Secretary, Ayodele Adio, was in our studio. I mean, a display of anger is, is, is a frustration and irritation that comes from a lack of accountability from public officials who should otherwise know better. I mean, we're talking about in, uh, importing 100 million liters of adulterated petrol into the country that has knocked off engines for cars, for generators, and yet no one is held to account. It makes absolutely no sense to me. It's, it's been, first of all, it took three days and public outcry for the NNPC to have the courtesy to issue a public statement when cars were being damaged, when queues were already piling up at the filling stations. They didn't deem it fit to inform Nigerians why there was scarcity or why there was a bad patrol that was knocking car engines. It took the president, who doubles as the, uh, uh, the Minister of Petroleum, an extra two, three days to issue what for me again, uh, you wouldn't even call a very stern statement on the issue that had you know, befallen the entire country. The NNPC cannot be on top of its game because it claims that it has enough reserves um, and then there's still scarcity all over the country. And it's important to emphasize this point. The NNPC have also said that they may require to spend 201 billion naira to clean up the bad patrol. 201 billion naira. ASU is going on strike, or they have just gone on strike, because the federal government lacks 30 billion naira to give them for revitalization fund for the universities. There can be no way forward if public officials are not held accountable. So I would argue that the first thing that needs to happen is that people must be punished for costing the country billions of naira, for causing a lot of hardship, and for causing damages to the Nigerian people. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.